change is really a global issue. And countries like China and India are, are projected to be the biggest producers of carbon emissions over the next decade. Yeah, well, China is very, very close to it right now. So what should the U.S. be doing to figure out the global dynamics here? Basically, there's a lot of people thinking of it, thinking about it and, and, and working on it. I'm, I am. And uh, uh, it's we, we just got to we got to keep with it. We can't really afford to lose this one. And it's not just climate change. Climate change is a symptom of overpopulation and too many people using too much stuff. If we what we have to do is we've got to stabilize the population uh, and, 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 and quickly because we can't handle nine billion people with six point seven billion. When I was born in 1938, there were only two billion people in the world. In, in, in the lifetime of one person in those 70 years, we've increased the number of people on the planet by three and a half times. That's, that's gigantic. Nothing like that ever, ever happened before. If we had that many more elephants, for Christ's sake, we'd all be elephant dung. You know? <laughs> so we've got, to, uh, we've got to go. What we really need to do, and Paul Ehrlich, I don't know if he's around, but he, he's involved here, I think. I, I read the population bomb 30 years ago, and uh, he, he feels like, because I talked to him, I had him out for a weekend 30 years ago uh, when I was doing my research on population. And uh, he thought that the world population ought to be between two and two and a half billion people. That with that, we could support, uh, you know, internal combustion engines. That there wouldn't be so many people that would overwhelm the, uh, the, the resource base. The, the planet's collapsing all around us. The ocean fisheries are collapsing from overfishing. There's the topsoil the, 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 uh, top is eroding away uh, from farming, the kind of farming that we do where we plow and, and wind and, and uh, water erosion are washing the, washing the topsoil away. We've got to take better care of the planet uh, because without, without uh, a healthy environment, this population is not going to make it. And with, and with that 6.7 billion uh, population, there's a billion people going to bed hungry at night. What are we going to do if we had 2 or 3 billion more people? And that's where we're headed if we keep uh, going the way that we're, that we're going. So we have to do that first because that's the most important thing. And, and we, or we have to do it simultaneously. So we're going to have to multitask. We're going to have to stop doing the dumb things and start doing the smart things. And we've got to start with you. Your, your generation has got to be the one that does it because if you wait till another generation before you start turning things around, it's going to be too late. So, and, and, and global warming or climate change is just... Uh, one symptom of a sick planet because of too many people using too much stuff. What the Bible said about population control. The Bible doesn't say anything about population control. Instead, humans are told to be fruitful and multiply in Genesis 1 28. Psalm 127 3 to 5 tells us that children are a heritage from the Lord and that the fruit of the womb is a reward from Him. Today, there are approximately 7.9 billion people in the world. That's a lot of people, but to put that number in perspective, there are about 7.5 trillion square feet of land in the state of Texas, in the United States, alone. This means that, theoretically, every person in the world could fit in the state of Texas, and each person would have 1,056 square feet of living space, 4,224 square feet for a family of four. One might say that the problem is not the number of people but rather the lack of resources, food, water, etc., and the ability to distribute those resources. If all the people on earth could fit comfortably in Texas, imagine all the room people would have if they spread out evenly over an entire continent. How much room would everyone have if all of Africa, 11.7 million square miles, for example, was used for housing? The answer is about one acre per person. Even if we remove the Sahara Desert from the equation, Africa, the second largest continent, would have plenty of living space for every person on the planet and still have room for water, arable land, and roads and other infrastructure. The point is, the Earth has lots of room, and the world's population should not need to be controlled. Of course, there are certain areas of the world that are overpopulated, that is to say, Certain metropolitan areas contain an unhealthy concentration of a region's population. People continue to migrate in large numbers into urban centers that are ill-equipped to handle the influx. The poverty, disease, and crime that overcrowding engenders are tragic to behold. Unfortunately, those who advocate population control often support ungodly methods of control, such as abortion, euthanasia, and forced sterilization. Schemes such as forced abortion directly conflict with the Bible's teaching that human life is sacred. Many promoters of population control advance policies that presuppose the problem is too many humans, while the real problem is ignored. The root problem is neither population size nor resource availability. The problem is sin. Selfish, sinful, and power-hungry people have misused God's creation. In Genesis 1:26. God intended that man have dominion over the rest of creation. Men were to be stewards of the earth, 
and 1 Corinthians 4 2 adds that it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. Sadly, corrupt governments, rather than acting as trustworthy stewards of a country's resources, often hoard food, mismanage resources, and squander money instead of seeing that their own people are fed. Unscrupulous corporations, too, strive for more control of the food supply and seem more willing to strike lucrative deals than to benefit society. The biblical answer to overpopulation is not to demand fewer people, especially if that involves culling the current population. The biblical answer is to honor people enough to provide for their needs, love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. Mark 12:31. There may be a problem with how the population is distributed and with how resources are managed, but the problem is not too many people on earth. Greed, lust for power, and foolishness lead to the mishandling of resources, and millions of people suffer as a result. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.